How's it going? Oh, going well. Good, I, good. I was wondering if I hit the right link. I was trying to get in. I started to, uh, I said, maybe I hit the wrong time or date. I was thinking the same thing. I was in the wrong place, actually. I was using another link. Okay. Yeah. So I'm glad to have you, man. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Oh, yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure. Um, have you looked into the um, strategic partnership thing yet? Um, that was with, who is that with? That's David the, Monroe? With the, with the multifamily? Yeah, multifamily with David Monroe, um, strategic partnership. Okay, so what's the, the website I just go to? Strategic partnership or David Monroe? What's the? Give me the website now. I'll make sure I go there and look. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the the link. Uh, I'll text it to you later today, and that way uh, you'll have it with you. Because um, the link is basically my um, what you call it, my affiliate link. Okay. So I'll get that to you. Okay, and you yes. have my you got my number right four zero four three four five yes. four five one four. Okay, thanks, Carlos. I did, I'll I'll never say, use if that you now. would, please attach it here in the chat box. Okay, sure, I will. I'll do it now. All right, guys. Um, welcome to Multifamily Investor Nation Monday Meetup. I'm your host for today, Carlos Di Reynoso. I'm very grateful that you're here today. Um, what I'd like to do, um, you know. Basically, you know, give ourselves a quick introduction. Tell us just uh, who you are and what you're currently uh, doing in the multifamily space, and we'll go from there. JJ, uh, would you like to start us off? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I'm I'm kind of new to everything, so I'm in the learning mode. But at the same time, I'm out prospecting. Uh, I'm with a commercial firm. Uh, I am licensed, but I got licensed just so I could learn the business. But my, my primary goal is to be an investor. Uh, but I'm, I mean, I'm out there uh, prospecting right now, trying to find uh, off market um, deals. And once I do that, I'd like to, you know, put together a team and see if we can take something down. I'm going to put my, that's my mobile in there. I'll put my um, Gmail account in there uh, if anybody needs to reach me, but I'm, I'm happy to be a part of the group. Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you for, for contributing. Um, anybody else want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Let us know what you got currently going on in the multifamily space. And if it, you, you're not, uh, if you're new to multifamily and you're doing something else, uh, any other profession, uh, just give us a little bit about yourself and a little bit of background. That way we know uh, who you are and what you currently do. Thank you, guys. I'll go ahead and start. My name is Brock Heider, and I have been uh, sit, uh Invest an investor in, as an LP in four uh, multifamily deals in the last couple of years. I'm still very new in a sense. I'm still learning a lot. Uh, I'm actually working on my uh, real estate license right now, uh, just so I can talk the lingo. I think just like Jimmy did earlier, just so I can learn more, understand the contracts, and just the verbiage. And I've also actually taken on the chair of our building and grounds committee at our church which is also a learning experience too. I'm uh, actually working with contractors and I'm getting some 40 windows put in the church, trying to negotiate some of that. And I'm, so it's a learning experience as well. So I'm just trying to do whatever I can to learn right now. Right on. And I, and it shows Brock, cause I know when you're not, um, you know, either a part of the, the partnership strategic partnership, uh, you're not, uh, you know, joining us here for this meetup, you know, you're always out there trying to learn something new, trying to um, add value to people. So um, I see your I see your hustle. I see how you're trying um, to learn. So kudos to you, buddy, for 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 the hustle and, and for doing everything you can um, to to get educated and to get yourself uh, up and running as a as a, an investor. So kudos to you. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. And uh James, would you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, guys. Uh, James Wenzel. I'm actually out of uh, uh, Texas, but I was looking for, for deals out in Atlanta, primarily focusing on investing and, in, you know, just I've uh, been passively investing for about eight years and uh, did about 20-ish 20, 20 some odd deals, about probably about six or seven sold last year, just reallocating some of that money out. Uh, but uh, last year, because of COVID, uh, one of my buddies, he's a big syndicator, 
he's like, why don't you buy a couple of deals on your own? So we went out and bought uh, uh, last 12 months. We picked up about 560 doors, did that. Uh, really enjoyed that, but, but still planning on, on doing both active as well as passive. And uh, already, I've already done one active deal at the end of January as a GP, and then two passive deals already this year. Uh, so, you know, just really trying to just leverage that money out and, and uh, meet as many people out in the industry as I can and, and learn from people like you, Carlos, as well as, uh, um, you know, just trying to uh, just continuing to leverage so I don't have to eventually can be a full time passive over time. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations on your latest deals. Thanks. Uh, man. It's, it's good to, to hear about uh, success stories um, here at the meetup and, you know, keep up the great work again, you know, keep hustling, keep doing everything you can uh, because it's obviously paying off. And, uh, you know, we would like to uh, hopefully one day we could sit down and have a, a in-person meetup and uh, kind of help each other out, if you will. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to have you and thank you for, for uh, sharing with us, James. Yeah, let me know if there's any live meetups out in that, your neck of the woods. I, I do travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I still have my, my W2, <laughs> so I, I travel a lot and I have a lot of friends in that neck of the woods. My kids are actually going to camp in Atlanta. So, uh, you know, right outside in, in Hidden Lake and all those little pretty Georgia uh, camps. So I do go there from time to time, uh, you know. So just, yeah, let me know if there's any lives and I'll, I'll be happy to, you know, coordinate my schedule with my friend visits out there at the same time. Cool. That sounds great. And actually, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm going to be doing something similar uh, come June, the week, the second week in June, I'll be traveling to Texas. Oh, yeah. Where are you going to be at? A uh, great question. So I'm going to be <laughs> between, um, well, I should say in and out of Houston. I'm going to go visit a property in San Antonio that we have over there. And uh, my wife's got some family over in I believe either Houston or Dallas. Um, so we're going to be swinging by there and saying hi to them as well. Well, if you um, time it, usually the second, it's either the second Thursday, second Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. So that would probably be, you said July or June? June. So I think it's either the, the 7th or the 14th. They usually have a, a really big meetup in town uh, for apartment educators. It's kind of a bunch of passive investors. So you could pick up some Texas investors in Atlanta uh, for Atlanta, some of your Atlanta deals. And, but usually there's about a hundred people that go to that. Um, and, and, you know, you get people from Houston coming into that. So right around, I think it's typically the 14th, but yeah, if you want to come on time it during that day, that'd be great. And then you can meet everyone out in Texas, at least out in the central Texas market. That sounds great. I'll definitely keep that in mind. And, and I would love to, you know, to get to know you better. Hopefully yeah, we can absolutely. meet up then. Yes, absolutely. Sounds great, man. Thank you. And thank you for sharing that information. That's definitely something practical. And I'll definitely look forward to, to meeting you. And, and I, I mean, most of the investor friends that I have are either from Georgia, Florida, or Texas. And the majority of the people that I've met in the past, maybe three years, uh, the majority of the investors have been from Texas. So I definitely want to go there, meet up with everyone, you know, have dinner, have lunch, Absolutely. hang out, you know, kind of learn, learn the area a little bit. So I appreciate that. I'll definitely be reaching out to you uh, to get more information. So Lo thank you. Lots of deals in Texas, uh, you know, that pencil out pretty good. Um, you know, so yeah, plenty of opportunity, lots of, lots of big oil business owners, a lot of Californians are moving out here too. So yeah, a lot of California money for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. And, and so Texas is super hot right now. I think it's where Atlanta was probably about two, three years ago, you know, where you're just now getting to that. I mean, we bought a deal in, in April last year for about 85 a door. And then we bought a deal six months later for about, you know, about 96 a door. And then now, <laughs> They're all about 120 for the same assets. And I've even seen some out for 150 already. So we're going through that acceleration that like Phoenix is going through and all that other stuff. And what city are you mainly seeing that in? Uh, all of them. San Antonio, Dallas, Austin and Dallas have kind of, Austin's already went through it, but they're having 
unbelievable du double digit growth. Uh, and they're still having growth, but it's more of an appreciation play in those area mm -hmm. areas. If you want more of a cash flow slash appreciation play, you know, where you get that hybrid, uh, that's going to be more Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio. And then of course, all the suburbs connecting those because they're turning into giant metros. So Houston's really hot. San Antonio's hot. Dallas and the suburbs are really good. People like Dallas because it's sexy. San Antonio is kind of like real redneck, but that's where I live. You know, but I, I love San Antonio because they're starting to get there. Austin's real techy. That's the California of, of, of Texas. And then Dallas. So if you're going to rank them, the coolest, most desirable cities, it's Austin, Dallas, uh, Houston, and San Antonio. But San Antonio, I think, is going to pass Houston in the next year. Uh, but that's so kind too. of the, the rank of the big cities. But you can't go wrong in any of them. Austin, you just won't get as much cash flow. Houston, San Antonio, and the, the suburbs of Dallas, you should get be able to hit a 7% pref on those. But yeah, just call me. If you got any deals you're looking at, give me a call. We primarily focus on Central, but I, I know the Houston and Dallas market very well because I'm passively invested in a bunch of deals out there. Awesome. So I see their T12s and their rent rolls and all that stuff. Yeah, awesome. Great tips, by the way. Thank you for that. Okay. The main the main one that, um, you know, I definitely want to go by is in Austin because we have a, um, a 506B over there um, that we should be closing um, toward the end. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this week? No, the on the 10th, basically. So March 10th, if everything uh, goes according to plan, we should have closed that one. It's my first uh, huge capital raise for a uh, syndication. So really excited to see that one come to a conclusion. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be going through Austin and I'm super excited. I'm like, me and my wife, we're already like planning ahead. Uh, we got a few uh, cities we want to hit, uh, a few um, tourist attractions. And one of one of my, um, I guess, cousin cousins in law, if you will, um, they have a farm over there in Houston, I think it is. So we're definitely excited to to go and and, you know, get to know the family better and and uh, Texas as well. So I really appreciate that, James. Thank you for hey, and that deal. That, that Are you guys raising on that deal or are you selling it? Uh, the one. In yeah, the no, we're raising on it. Okay, and send uh, we pretty my, much. I just put it in the chat, man. Add me to that because I definitely want to take a look uh, at some of those Austin deals. I know Kondasami's got a big foothold out there and Shippy. Yeah, and James those guys. is on fire over there for sure. Yeah, yeah. Shippy, Kondasami. But Shippy's a lifestyles guy, but yeah, they get they got some really good deals out there. Awesome. Yep, yep, yep. We'll do. I'll definitely do that. And uh, again, thanks, uh, Victoria. Did you want to go next? Uh, introduce yourself. We'll give Victoria a second to unmute herself. Yeah, I'm and... always talking to myself on mute. <laughs> <laughs> And if not, uh, Victoria, it might be busy. Chris, uh, if you'd like, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know what you're currently doing in the multifamily space. Hello, it's good to be here. Sorry, I'm, I'm on a drive. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I'm newer in the multifamily space. I actually am closing on my first deal as an LP, hopefully tomorrow, waiting to hear the news. Um, I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So right now I'm kind of trying to look around and uh, connect with those kind of looking to Chattanooga, Knoxville, Nashville, um, that Tennessee market over here in East Tennessee. Um, I'm kind of, I can say my passion for it is um, more of the market analysis and the underwriting. I really enjoy all those kind of things. I'm an engineer by day job, I should say, nice. um, but I'm an extroverted engineer. So I like the numbers and I like to talk about the numbers just as much. Um, so really just trying to get out there, meet people, meet investors, um, get, you know, meet with lenders, brokers, and just kind of start my journey in multifamily. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Chris. That sounds like a cool uh, story. And before you know it, you're going to go ahead and, and uh, take some deals down. So just, just so you know, get ready because the good times are coming. Um, you know, I'm very optimistic. I always believe that, you know, like, like, uh, Napoleon Hill says, right. If you could, uh, if the mind of man can believe, uh, and can, uh, can believe in, and, and conceive it, then you could achieve it. So 
you know, keep keep at it, and uh, before you know it, you'll be successful. Well, I have to think something's right in Tennessee because I know um, I, I get more discussion from uh, out of state, everyone, New York, California, everyone kind of trying to come to Tennessee um, for out of state investing. So I know it's a hot market. I've done the market analysis, so now I just got to put all two and two together, connect the people with the properties, and analyze them. So thanks for the encouragement. I'm really excited about this. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang hang tight. You, you'll get there. Um, that's awesome. And um, bear with me. I'm here like trying to get the presentation ready at the same time. Uh, we're going to try back with Victoria. If not, uh, if she's not available, then we'll go ahead and get started with the presentation. All right. Do you guys see me and the Raising Capital screen? There it is. Yay! Yep. I'm glad we were able to work that out. All right, guys. Thank you for that. Um, so, yeah, today we're here to meet up about raising capital for your multifamily deals. I'm your host for the day. Uh, well, I'm your host, period. Carlos DiRinoso. Um, Again, this is multifamily. Uh, Monday meetups. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. So uh, who I am and why I'm here today in front of you. Um, basically, I've been interviewed on the Joe Fairless show recently. Um, my presentation was on the five tips to boost your online network and finding investors. So this is something that is near and dear to me, something that I'm well versed at and uh, I could definitely speak to. Um, all right, so I am a co-founder for this group, Multifamily Investor Nation, here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm also a founder and CEO of my uh, company, Canis Major Investment Capital, LLC. Um, I'm a capital raiser, a general partner, and an equity partner on this uh, deal that we are currently raising capital for in uh, San Antonio, Texas. It, it is a 240 unit 506B offering. And I'm also the author of the book, Selling Secrets You Can't Afford to Miss. And again, I've been recently interviewed on the best ever real estate investing advice ever podcast with Joe Fairless. Uh, and I was actually interviewed by Ash Patel. Great guy, great conversation. I hope you guys will check it out. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I think it shows in the interview. So hopefully you guys could take a look at that. Uh huh. And let's see. Yeah, so recently we went through the summit in January, um, the MFIN summit. Make sure that you guys sign up for that. It's a great place to network with other experienced investors. It's a great place to learn about uh, multifamily syndications and also to meet up and network with other um, um, investors as well. Uh, here's uh, in that um, summit, I was uh, the uh, moderator, if you will, for the raising capital, uh, finding money for your deals. And again, that's the topic for today. So as you can see, I'm pretty well versed when it comes to raising capital. I'm doing it right now. Uh, as we speak, uh, the deal should be closing if everything uh, permits uh, by March 10th, which is this coming Thursday. Um, okay, and without further ado, here's today's topic. The content is raising capital for your multifamily deals. We're going to go over the investor triad. And what one of the things that I did is to try to help you, um, um, you know, kind of set up properly so that you could get the foundation so that you can start raising capital and raising capital properly. Um, so it all starts with the investor triad. And I have it here. A lot of times when I've done this presentation in the past, I'll start off by drawing the triad. But, you know, I, I, I was proactive and I kind of got it ready for us here today uh, for time's sake. Um, so if you would, either A, on a piece of paper, you could uh, write out a triangle, if you will. And in that triangle, if you would, on the top, I'd like you to write the word no, as in knowledge, the word no, on the very top. On the left-hand corner, 
of that triangle, like you see in this presentation, write the word like. And on the bottom right hand corner um, of the triangle, write the word trust. So no on the top, like on the left, trust on the right. And that being said, I'd like to ask you guys, and if you would put the answer in the chat box right here, uh, between no like and trust, which of the three do you guys think is most important when um, trying to raise capital for your deals? Is it to know you? Is it to like you? Is it trust? Which one would you guys say? And if you've already seen this presentation, like I know Brock has, uh, then you know you don't have to answer, Brock, because we know that you know the answer. Uh, but everybody else, if you would, just let us know in the chat box, and I'm going to go ahead and check this out. And yeah, I'm seeing, um, um, okay, so like, 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 trust, okay? And I'll tell you, in, in my opinion, to know is the most important uh, of the three. And the reason why is if they don't know you, they're never going to be able to get to the point of deciding whether or not they like you. And if they don't know you, they're definitely not going to get to the point where they actually start to trust you yet. Because before someone could trust you and before they could like you, they definitely need to know you. Bear with me for a second while I take a quick sip of my drink. Thank you. Um, so the logic here is, guys, that once they get to know you, they will decide if they like you or not. And once they like you and have enough information of, you know, what your product is, in this case, multifamily syndication, you know, this is the deal I'm presenting to the, to the investor. Um, these are the returns that they could expect. Once they have that information, then they trust me. They decide, okay, yeah, Carlos is definitely a trustworthy person. I've seen him in the, meet, in the meetup. I've read his book. I've seen him in other um, summits and in other presentations. Uh, you know, I know he's, he's good friends with Dan as, as is Brock, as are some of you or a lot of you uh, with Dan Hanford. So yeah, I, I trust Carlos. Yeah, I do want to work a deal with him. Um, so then that's the next part. And if you look, um, you can see my cursor real quick here. Um, but if you look down here where it says no an investor triad, you're at the point where you're raising capital. Do you guys still see my screen here? Can yes. I get a yes or a no? Yes. All right, yes, thank you. you. All right, thank you guys. So yeah, if you're looking here, once they trust you, then you go to the bottom right of your triangle and you'll see that that's when they start actually investing money into your deals. And that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to get the investors to uh, bring in money into the deals that we're raising capital for. Uh, so far, do we have any questions? Anybody? All right. And then once they trust you and they invest money with you, then they will are their family, friends, and colleagues to also get to know you. Can anyone tell me what this R with the blank here, what it might represent? Anyone take Referral. a guess? Referral. Referral. Referrals. Exactly right. They will refer you, their family, their friends, their colleagues, and they're going to go ahead and do the introductions. So once you meet an investor who wants to invest in your deals, who knows you, who likes you, and now trusts you, uh, what they're going to do is they're going to invest with you. Once they invest with you and they had a good experience, what you're going to see is that now they're going to start referring other investors to you. And that's where you're going to get that trickle down effect of, I have this investor who just put in $250,000 in my deal and I haven't even met him yet. And the reason why that investor is already trusting you is because his friend already invested with you, had a great experience and, and now could attest to it and say, Hey guys, uh, I, I know Carlos, I trust him. I like him a lot. 
great guy, great personality, the sweetheart of a man. <laughs> Can't say enough great things about him. And I think you guys should invest with him because I've gotten good returns and I'm going to continue investing with him. And I want to let you guys in on a secret, invest with Carlos, you're going to have a great experience. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to make sure that uh, we get the investors to invest with us because now they like us, now they trust us, and now they're also referring additional business to us as well. Okay. Um, I don't know why this freezes sometimes. Okay. And then announcements. Um, if you, if, as you're coming in, make sure to put your contact info. That way we could network with each other. But beyond that is so that we could also contact you. And when I say we, it's going to be either myself or someone from the uh, multifamily investor nation or passiveinvesting.com will reach out to you and, uh, and you know, just to kind of get to know you better and to see if there's anything that, that uh, we could do um, to possibly uh, invest together on deals. Okay. So uh, go check out my YouTube channel. You can find me at Carlos D. Reynoso on YouTube. Uh, you'll see uh, not last month, but all the previous recordings of this meetup. Um, and if you would, you know, like, and subscribe, and if possible, I'd really appreciate it. It would help grow my, uh, algorithm. If you guys could leave me a nice comment and say, you know, something to the effect of I'm grateful for, you know, for this, uh, video or just a nice comment would really go a long way to help me out. And I'd really, really appreciate it guys. Thank you for that. Um, you could follow me on LinkedIn on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Excuse me. And also join us for next uh, the next Multifamily Investor Summit taking place in June. It's going to be, I believe, in Columbia, South Carolina. This is actually going to be an in-person summit. It takes place in June. Um, just go to mfinsummit.com. And at checkout, use my promo code CANIS and you'll save $100 off the price of admission. Now, um, Victoria and some other uh, uh, investors in this call today have uh, reached out and have inquired about um, David Monroe's strategic partnering. Um, and, you know, I have recently joined. Um, it's so far, it's jam packed with information. Um, most of what I'm doing is just trying to get up to date and, 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 and look through all the documents and the, um, the webinars that he's done. But just so you guys know, um, here's a link that you could use. And this is the link JJ, I was telling you earlier is my direct affiliate link. So that if you guys are interested and you click on this green link down here, I don't want to do it because I know it's going to kick me out and it's going to take me to the to the, the website right now. But if you could just copy and paste that link, what you're going to end up seeing is my affiliate link to join strategic partnering. And there you're going to have Brock is there with us. Um, I'm there uh, in strategic partnering as well. Um, and some, some other investors that you guys have met in this meetup are going to be joining you as well. Hope you guys will stick around to the end for more networking opportunities. And uh, without further ado, let's jump headfirst deeper into the content. So again, once you've raised the, the capital, once you've um, uh, had the investors trust you, they invested in your deal. Now, congratulations, you're now a professional capital raiser because you've had an investor uh, put their hard-earned money into your deal. And even better, they had a great experience and now they've referred to you their other investors. So, you know, one, you got lucky and it worked out. Once you have more than one under your belt, you could actually attest to say, I am a professional capital raiser. I've raised money on deals and I could do it again. And guys, the best part about that 
is when you raise capital once and you have a proven track record, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have a lot of investors reach out to you and say, Carlos, uh, we have a deal in Texas and Florida and Tennessee and Alabama, Jacksonville, you name it. And uh, we'd like to bring you in on the deal. Um, and we'd like for you to raise capital. And obviously, you know, due to SEC regulations, it can't just be raising capital. So you'll have other duties as well. And, you know, duties could be uh, finding the, the, um, the hard money. It could be um, uh, working the investor relations portal and such things. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, general partner duties that you could share because you cannot, I repeat, you cannot only raise capital on deals. You must be doing other tasks as well. Okay, um, enough about that. So let's go on to, um, okay, so how do you get people to know who you are, right? Because again, we, we established that to know you is the most important part of all. So to get someone to get to know you, um, there's several things you could do. Uh, and we're also going to be talking raising capital from high net worth individuals. So you want to look locally in your newspapers and magazines. And Victoria, it's, it's funny because this, this kind of relates to the question you asked me last month, which was, you know, how do we get um, how do we get involved with these deals? And this is one of those ways that you could do that is you're going to reach out in different newspapers and magazines and you're going to look for people who are successful who have an article in these magazines and what i like for you to do is go on linkedin look for for these people by name and reach out to them on linkedin directly and the topic of conversation you're going to tell the investor or the person the successful uh, person that you're looking into I saw your article in such magazine, such newspaper, and I found it to be highly interesting. And I wanted to take a moment, introduce myself, and uh, find out more about yourself and see if there's a way that we could possibly uh, help each other out or work together on future deals. You know, you're going to word it in your own words, but that's basically what you're saying is, I saw your article, I found it to be interesting, I wanted to learn more about you, and to see if we had some synergies uh, of possibly working together in the very near future. Uh, uh, so again, you're finding influential people, successful people, people that have articles, magazine articles, and reaching out to them. Um, and those people are the same investors that are going to help you uh, meet other investors. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to introduce you to other high net worth individuals or just other successful investors that could also invest in your deal. Excuse me. And this meetup is another great place because in this meetup, not only could you network with other investors, like a lot of you have said, look, I'm looking to partner up on deals. I do the capital uh, analysis uh, or I do the capital raising um, and I'm looking for somebody who does analysis and vice versa. So a meetup like this or this particular meetup is a great uh, place to, to meet other investors. And also my um, YouTube page, my YouTube channel, because there you'll have past videos. And in that video, you'll also see the investor names and their contact info, excuse me, you won't have their contact info, but a lot of times you'll see their name come up on the screen. Like right now, I'm seeing your names up on my screen. So you could see their name, reach out to them on LinkedIn and uh, start the conversation there. Uh, participate in, in meetups like this one. You can provide local seminars or workshops which is, by the way, something I've done. Um, that's kind of like what got me enticed to this meetup is that I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to 
uh, as I was learning, I wanted to give back to others. Um, so that adds value to others. And when people see that you're selfishly giving, they're going to be more inclined to want to give you as well. And also to want to um, collaborate with you. So always think of not just what could I get from this person? Uh, you honestly want to think of what can I give this person first before I ever consider asking? And I don't know if you guys get this, but I get at least 10 of these a day on LinkedIn where somebody reaches out, hey, here's a product I'm selling. Uh, you want to buy it? Uh, thank you. You know, I'm looking to, to meet you and get to know you. Well, hold on a second. Our first conversation, you're already selling me something, right? I don't know you. You don't know me. Why would I invest with you yet? Or why would I buy your product uh, if the first conversation I'm getting from you is jumping straight into your, your sales pitch? There's no relationship building. There's no um, getting to know the person first. So for me, that's a major turnoff. So I don't like it. I try not to do that to anyone. So if you want to reach out to these people, come from the mindset of, let me add value first. And then, you know, let's see if there's any synergies of, of ways that we could help each other out. But don't just ask, don't just take, you know, give and, and, uh, and add value first. Uh, you could join a community of like-minded people. One great example is this uh, strategic partner uh, community I was telling you guys about with David Monroe. Uh, we're just getting started this year. You know, the year is still off to a great start. Uh, but already I've met investors there. Already uh, there's people talking about deals that they're looking at. Uh, we're investing, the, uh, we're analyzing these deals together. So, I mean, this, I already have a great feeling about this community. I have a, a great amount of respect for David Monroe. He's a CCIM instructor. He teaches uh, about the local markets, and he also teaches about how to, uh, how to analyze properties as well. So I highly recommend it. Uh, feel free to use my link. And in the end, if you guys still want to go back, I could go back to that screen and share that um, the link with you as well, and I'll try to attach it um, to our chat as well. Um, you want to get featured in local magazines? And... Uh, you know, so what you do there, you reach out to the local magazine and say, listen, um, I have an article that I'd like to share, and I think it'll be beneficial to your readers. Um, how do I get involved? How do I share my, my articles? Um, you can speak at local events, which I've done, like you guys saw at the beginning of the presentation. I spoke at the summit. I was a uh, moderator. So again, all I did there was ask questions and moderate the, the content. And by doing so, I established relationships with Whitney Sewell, Chris Larson, uh, Tim Lyons, uh, Sid Hammond. So you guys, something as simple as doing something that I like doing anyway, which is you know getting to know investors, and I'm doing it, but I'm actually adding value to others. You got to get out there. You got to get people to get to know you. The best way to get known is to get the word out about you. Uh, I want you guys to have several Facebook pages. I want you to have an established uh, LinkedIn page. Uh, make sure it's updated with your most current information. Uh, you could direct mail to high income individuals. And if you need uh, names of different lists, reach out to me. I could give you different list sources. There's one actually called List Source. Um, so what you do is you send out um, mailers directly to a certain zip code that you know is going to get um, good returns. Um, and once they reach out to you and they say, yeah, look, I'm interested. I saw that you posted something here. Uh, then you start the conversation, let them know uh, what you're looking for. And these people are willing to help you out as well. And we're almost at the end. So thank you guys for bearing with us. Dinner events with investors. This one I've mentioned before uh, with potential investors, what you want to do. 
uh, invite a couple, a few investors to dinner. Let's say you invite four to, to dinner, have four investors that have done a deal with you um, come have them bring their friends or other potential investors that are on the fence and kind of just ask one of the investors that have invested with you, Hey, what, you know, what good, what good experience have you had with us? Can you share some, some good experience that you've had with us uh, so that the others could understand, you know, how it's been to invest with us in the past. And what that's going to do is going to bring in the potential investors to hear good recommendations that, hey, I've worked with Carlos in the past. Uh, we did a great deal. I'm still making money off that deal. I highly recommend it. I think you guys should definitely consider uh, investing with Carlos as well. So you bring investors you've invested with who've invested in your deals, and you also bring uh, investors that are still on the fence and you bring them into your deal. And the reason I have excuse me, investor triad here in parentheses is because it goes back to the no like, and trust, which is getting people to know you. And once they know you, you know, you can invite them to a dinner or a gala or a gathering and kind of, you know, invite them and kind of have them um, kind of give a good word uh, or a good testimonial, if you will, about their experience investing with you host a podcast like I'm doing here. Uh, this is a, a monthly podcast. We meet on the first Monday of every month, unless it falls on a holiday or sometimes if it's too close to the beginning of the year um, and be a guest. So there's ways that you could get on other people's podcasts as a guest. Um, a lot of the investor friends I have on LinkedIn found me through other people's um, uh, forums and I was just a guest on there and answered questions and brought some value on how to raise capital and uh, little tips and tricks on how to save money uh, in your investments. So be a guest on other people's podcasts and that's going to help you uh, expand your reach. Here's another tough one. And let me tell you, I've met some good investors and professionals in the industry this way. And that's to attend a chamber of commerce, of commerce meeting um, to meet business owners. I myself being a business owner, I'd like to go. A lot of times they share, um, they share um, tools, apps that, that they're used in the industry. So that's a great one to go to. Plus, You'll meet other high net worth individuals. Plus, you'll also meet other uh, savvy business owners uh, who potentially could invest in your deals. That is one of the best ones on here. I highly recommend not just a, a chamber of commerce meeting, but any uh, major meetings or gatherings that you could uh, join in at. Uh, volunteer locally for charities. One example. I was a volunteer at my uh, homeowners association uh, for the past four years. I actually resigned last year. Um, it was getting uh, in the way of my investments. Um, so I resigned, but it was a good way for me to give back to my immediate community, uh, to the community, the subdivision where I live. And again, um, you know, people were reaching out to me, hey, Carlos, you know, you're a realtor. What do you think about this? You're a broker. What's your opinion uh, if I sell my house? And, and I was able to add value to them. But at the same time, when those people consider either A, you know, selling their house or B, investing in multifamily or C, you know, have questions about anything dealing with multifamily, for sure, they're going to come to me because I've added value ahead of time and they know I'm trustworthy, right? So all these things add up, believe it or not. And before you know it, you're going to have a bunch of people investing in your deals. Um, and connect with local, local real estate attorneys, you know, CPAs, and uh, financial advisors that also work with high net worth individuals. So in Georgia, there's a lot, a lot of closing attorneys that, that you could reach out to. Um, just do a Google search. Find everyone you can set up an appointment, 
let them know what your aspirations are and set up an appointment to meet with them. And what you'll find is that not only are they willing to give you the information, they might even refer you to other investors uh, in the deals. And some of the investors that I found recently, I found them through a closing attorney that I've worked with in the past and that I've referred several uh, deals to. So, you know, I'd never asked for anything in return from the closing attorneys. Um, but when the time came that I needed um, information from them, they were more than willing to share it because of the value that I added in the past. And lastly, uh, I was going to say next month's topic is going to be on securing capital for your multifamily deal. And it's a slight difference. Here we talked about raising the capital. And in the next month's topic, it's going to be more specifically on securing that capital and making sure you have the capital in hand. Hope you guys will join us for that one. And thanks for joining us. And now if you guys, uh, that's the uh, our topic for today, two things. Does anyone have a question uh, about, I know I talked fast and I know I went through a lot of information. If you have questions, feel free to ask them now. So I'm gonna pause for a second. And then also, um, if there are no questions, we're going to go ahead and jump into the breakout room. So I'm going to just wait a little bit, see if there's no questions and take a sip of water. And then if not, we'll go ahead and jump into the breakout rooms. All right. So everybody knows exactly how to, what they got to do to raise capital, right? We're golden. Awesome. I'm glad I was able to relinquish or share that information with you guys. And uh, uh, apparently it did a pretty decent job because there's no questions. So thank you guys for that. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and see if we could uh, jump into the break room. So I'm gonna have to stop sharing to go into the break rooms. Uh, oh, no, there's one more thing. Uh, my contact info, let me see here. Uh -huh. Go back one step, please. Okay, so here's my contact info. If you guys uh, need to reach out, uh, you could call me. There's my cell, there's my office number. Uh, you could email me at carlos at Um Check out my business page, uh, page Kenneth Major Investment Capital LLC. Excuse me, on Google and Facebook. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the summit. And uh, hopefully you guys are uh, thinking of joining the strategic partnership. I'm there, Brock is there. We have a few other investors that you guys might know, uh, both in uh, Texas and uh, in Georgia as well. Actually, there's some people from Florida and Alabama too. Um, and I believe that there's some investors from Phoenix. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys are interested and, and would like to learn more. Feel free to reach out to me. You have my contact info. And I'm going to go ahead and stop share here.